In the last section, we put together our first instance of component nesting. So we now have several copies of the comment detail component showing up inside the app. And we were able to confirm that inside of our actual application over here. Now, as I've said many times, the current issue with our application is that every single comment detail has the same exact author name, time, and content. So in this video, we're gonna figure out how to fix that. Now, before I tell you exactly how we're gonna fix it, I first wanna show you a quick diagram that you're going to see many times throughout this course and in a lot of blog posts and articles around React. This diagram right here is what we might refer to as our component hierarchy. It's a diagram that tells us the different components that are currently being displayed inside of our application and the relationship between those different components. So in this diagram, we would say that we have a single instance of the app component. And then underneath it, we have three instances of the comment detail. Because the app is showing the comment detail or because the comment details nested inside the app, we would refer to the app as a parent component and these comment details as child components. We're going to use this term child components or children many times throughout this course. And some of the later things that we're even going to do in this section are going to depend heavily upon this idea of child components. Okay, so now that we understand this diagram right here, I want to tell you about the props system, which we're going to use to customize these comment details when they show up on the screen. We're going to come back to a form of this diagram in just a second to help you understand how props really work. Okay, here we go. So the prop system in React is a system for passing data from a parent component to a child or a nested component. The entire goal of the prop system is to somehow communicate data from the parent down to a child with the ultimate goal of customizing the child and making sure that the content that it displays on the screen is somewhat different or to make sure that the behavior of the component is different when the user interacts with it. Remember the overall goal of components. Their goal is to either show some content to the user or react to user interaction. So the whole purpose of props is to customize those two things, either customize how the component looks or how a user interacts with it. All right, so similar diagram over here to what we were just looking at before. Here's the general idea with props. Our app component is going to show instances of the comment detail. When the app shows those components, at the same time, it's going to pass in a little bit of configuration to each of those different comment components. This little configuration, each of these re would refer to as props, are going to supposedly tell the comment detail to maybe show a name or an author of Alex, of Jane, or Sam. We can also use the same prop system to customize the time that each comment detail is showing and customize the content as well. There's no limit to the amount of information that we can share over this prop system. So we can pass one piece of configuration like, hey, play, please use the name of Alex, or we could pass down 20 or 30 or 40 or 50. Now in practice, there usually tends to be an effective limit on the amount of information that we want to pass from a parent to a child, but we'll learn more about that over time as we get a better handle on some best practices around props and handling data inside of a React application. Okay, so that's the prop system. Remember, it's all about having a parent customize how the child looks or behaves. Let's take a quick pause here. When we come back to the next section, we'll learn more about the syntax around passing props from a parent down to a child.